The second way to find if your data set contains any outliers is to use the mean and standard deviation. And here's 20 test scores from a math test. And we could input these and find the, use, use the calculator to find the mean and standard deviation. They've given it to us right here. Our mean is 77.6. Our standard deviation is 14.2. So the formula you use to find the lower bound is the mean minus three times the standard deviation. So that's going to be 76, 77.6 minus three times 14.2. Doing that math, you are going to get 35. You're going to check the data and see if we have any numbers that are um, less than 35. And here we go. 32 is less than 35, so it is an outlier. Now we need to calculate the upper bound too. And to do that, we, we still need the mean and standard deviation, but this time we're going to add three standard deviations to the mean. So that'll give us 77.6 plus 3 times 14.2. That'll give me 120.2. So if there are any data values above 120.2, they will also be outliers. But we don't have any of those. So there are no outliers at the high end. That means our only outlier is 32.